Hello and welcome to another of my unboxing videos. I hope you enjoy it. In <sighs> Hello again and welcome to yet another unboxing video. So let's just get started. I have here something that looks like a chocolate box. It's uh, a little bit heavier than a chocolate box but similar dimensions. And this box is from an anonymous person because they have reused the packaging and their original address here, I believe, has uh, been scribbled out. So uh, let's get it open and see what's inside. I'm using this little pocket knife today. I think it might be safer than the bigger one. And it actually cuts quite well, look at that. Wonderful. Oh, this is exciting, there's a letter. I've just cut it in half. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's Christmas paper. Christmas themed. It does feel like Christmas. Dear Marty, please find enclosed a few cars from my own collection that I think will be better restored by your hands. I live within 20 miles of the old Lesney factory and can easily pick more up for a few pence. Best regards, Rob C at Matchbox Garage. I've watched some of his videos, he's quite good. P.S. Sorry about the note paper, it was all I could find. Ah, oh, and I thought he was giving me a Christmas themed uh, joke there. Anyway, let's go. Let's get them out. Lovely. Very neatly and easily wrapped so I can get them undone without much hassle. Oh, well, oh, this is a nice one. Oh, I do like these silver wheels on it, the hubcaps. There's not many around like that. The door's open. There's no dents in it. The tow hook's missing, unfortunately. But that can be fixed. And this happens to be a number 62 Mercury Cougar. So how do you think about that? What do you think about that? That's a good one, isn't it? Now, here's the second one. Let's have a look at this. Ah, oh, what a coincidence. That's the same colour as this. It's almost the same vehicle. Can you see it's got the same type of wheels? I haven't got many with that type of wheel, so this is going to be something new for me to experiment with. And this is another one vehicle with the dogs in the back. Remember I did one the other week and it had a dog looking out the back window. Well, this, in this one they're looking out the back window. I wonder if they've got their restraints on. And it looks like it's that same collie, only this time he's got a bulldog as a, as a buddy. So I could, this is great, because I could do these two together because I'll mix up the paint and it will, I can do two in one, which is always a good thing. Wow, look at that. Well, that is something I've never, ever seen before. It's an old vehicle with the crimped axle ends. It's just one piece cast, except for the wheels, of course. And I should have bought my magnifying glass, because I can't actually read what it says. There you go. And this says it's a Lesney... Oh. It just says Lesney England on it. So there's no number anywhere to be seen. Well, that I can see. Anyway, it's an unusual looking thing. I've never seen one before. It's got a tow hook on it, a canopy, and a roller assembly behind the cabin, which I have no idea what it is. And it's a, a completely different scale to the more modern ones. Can you see that? But cute nonetheless. It must be one of the originals, I'm thinking. I'm going to do some research into that one. Oh, here's another one of that same scale. So another original. Crimped axles. Again, one solid piece. And it's the... Hmm. It's like they didn't stamp uh, numbers on them in those days. It just says Lesney, England. Well, it looks like there's a couple of wheels missing off the back of the ladder here, perhaps. You know, they used to have the big wheels to push the ladders around and slide them out. So if I can fix that somehow, maybe 3D print some new ones, that would be great. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five to go. Oh, hey! This is great! 
because I did one of these the other day and it was in green. I never knew they came out in a second colour. How stupid am I? Because I could have done one of each, couldn't I? So now I'm going to have to be compelled to do this again and do it in this colour so that I've got one of each. That's the uh, Morris 1100, is it not? The MG 1100. I always get them confused because they look very similar. The grills. This one here is a Lincoln Continental 31. It's in pretty good condition. The collector would uh, bite my hand off for this, I think, because it's, uh, it's got minimal play wear on it around the highlighted areas. And it's all in pretty good nick. Boot opens. But uh, Rob C from Matchbox Garage sent it to me, so I guess he wants me to uh, do a makeover on it, and so Rob, I shall. That colour's going to be awkward to mix. Right, I think I've got one of these. It's a dust cart. Refuse collector. Carrier refuse collector. I've done one of, one of these before already, but I didn't film it. And the same, same thing here, that the one I had, had that rear door missing. And I know for a fact you can buy uh, replica parts because I, I got one for the one I did up. But this looks really good. It's just all silver and it's got yellow lettering on it. So I'm going to do that because I never filmed the first one. Oops. And it, it made for quite a good little model. Clean as you go. Ah, right. This is a Coca-Cola van. Um, should be orange with silver bottles in the back and coca-cola stickers on it somebody obviously drink didn't drink coca-cola maybe they were fond of Coles mustard and they've turned it into a mustard truck but they've done not a bad job on it they've done a brilliant job of painting that grill look at that but the actual paint job itself is a bit ordinary but you know hats off to them for doing that on that grill that's really good the tires are a little bit yucky it's like they're corroding almost. So I, might, I don't know whether these are genuine metal ones or not, but there's grey, silver grey. Sometimes a silver grey plastic, sometimes silver grey metal. I think these might be the metal ones. But that's going to be great. I'm going to like that one because it's a beautiful orange. Right, last one. Actually, it's probably almost similar to that orange, but not quite. And last... From Matchbox Garage, Mercedes Benz 220, number 53. This is another one of those cars with opening door feature. Did I do one of these? Is this the one I did? I did a green one. I think it looks similar. Maybe they came out in two different colours. I'm going to have to do some research on that. Uh, yeah, I think maybe I've already done that one, but in green. In which case, I'll have to do it again in red. So that's great. So thanks very much for those. A fantastic little set. Can't wait to get stuck into them. Alright, this one's quite weighty. And it's from Tom Jensen of Barnesville in Minnesota. So thank you in advance, Tom. Let's uh, open this one up and see what's inside it. Yes. Ah, uh, always like a good letter. Right, it says, hi, oh no, it says, Marty, hi. After watching a number of your unboxing videos and countless restore videos, I'm compiled to send you a small gift for the hours I have spent watching them. Not just once, but over and over to make sure I didn't miss a step. You and your lovely wife are sure moving up in the video world with your last one and the delivery truck. Lots of fun. Oh, LOL, fun as hell. I hope it fits into your other collections. Enjoy. North of Time Rider, about 500 miles, that's 804.2 kilometers for you. They call me Papa Tom on YouTube. Right. Well, thank you, Tom Jensen from Barnesville, Minnesota. Let's get into this package and have a look and see what it is. Look at this. 
Someone's taken a lot of, well, Tom has taken a lot of care over packaging this. We call this stuff shrink wrap over here. I don't know what you call it in the US. Let me know. I'd be curious to know. Mm. Oh, goodness me. Look at this. If it is what I think it might be. It's a camera in its original box. Kodak Junior 6... 20 series 2 and they're made in Rochester New York from the Eastman Kodak company Wow I don't know if any of you have noticed but behind me here I've got a selection of cameras that I've collected over the years oh and this is just fantastic Tom sent me this one and it's in the box I can't believe it oh and it's got the uh, instruction guides look at that Instruction guide, notes about Kodak film and how to use to get the right exposure, an exposure card. Look at that. Oh, this is a little ripper. So let's have a look at this. Let's deploy it and see what it looks like. This is just brilliant. It looks almost brand new. Wow, look at that. I wonder how many times this has actually been used. Not too many by the looks of it, or in fact, if it has been used a lot, whoever owned it really took some care over it and kept it in the box, which is brilliant. Yeah. I'm going to put this in my display cabinet now, and it's going to remind me of Tom from Minnesota, who's done a, an amazing thing. I'm just blown away by that. Uh, you probably can't quite understand how much that means to me to have another camera in my collection because yeah you know, oh, they're, they're very they're rare as hen's teeth over here all right i'm going to put this in, in my cupboard this is a little leg to stand it on for display look at that i'm going to have to move everything around now to accommodate it and make it look neat that's brilliant Fine. i'm amazed at what you guys do you americans especially are so generous, brings a tear to my eye. Right. Okay, now, Otis Rustling from Alberta in Canada has sent me this one, which is quite weighty. And it's a, in the scheme of things, it's a pretty big box. So, let's have a look in here. Still can't get over that camera. Maybe they speak both. Wow. Look at all these in here. All individually wrapped. <laughs> I don't do well with uh, Ziploc bags, for the record. Yeah. Two Ziploc bags, luckily this one's open. Wow, this is a hole and a half. Look at this. And they're all in Ziploc bags. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's a great idea, actually. Okay, oh, what? This looks in almost mint condition from here. little prime mover. Look at this. I think I've seen one of these before, but I can't remember where. It's not a matchbox, is it? It's some kind of other brand of uh, model. It's a lovely vintage blue. Not too sure if that's a Tootsie or not, because the Tootsies I thought had open axle slots here and here, but this one hasn't. They're, they're sealed and there's no markings on it. I'm going to be up all night now on Google looking up these I can see, find out what they are and where they're from and how old they are. It's part of the fun of the hobby actually. Wow. There's nothing 
There's nothing needed to be done to this. This is a Chevrolet Impala, and look at it. It's in excellent condition. It's just beautiful, beautiful little model. It's got a dent at the back there. I don't know if that's intentional or what, but it looks pretty cool. Almost like it's supposed to be there. It's dead centre. So if that's not meant to be dented, then I'm going to have to fix this one up. If it is meant to be dented, I reckon I'm just going to leave that as is because it's just too good to frame and play around with. Oh, this is one I haven't got. It's the uh, the other milk float. It's like a comma comma milk float, I think it's called. That's a horrible colour. Somebody's painted this. It's supposed to be that tan colour, I believe. See on the the rear there, there's a little strip of tan. That's the colour it's supposed to be. And I think it's probably got a sticker or two on there. Oh, it's the Bedford. I thought it was the comma. The Bedford number 29. And it's another little milk truck look, but the different one to the one I did. So I haven't got one of these. That's going to be great. I'm going to, that's definite keeper. Going to go in the, in the collection. Oh. The E-Type Jag. My favourite car ever. A lot of people say that also. This one's in brilliant condition. Look at that. There's no way I can even attempt to pull that one apart because there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it as far as I can see. A couple of minor chips, but it's just as good as it gets for its age. These are going to be collectibles. This is, these are just... I'm not going to have too much makeover to be done on these. These are just purely gifted and... Otis, you must have known that they're in such good condition that... They're just going to go into a collection. This is amazing. Look, this is an army truck there. I've never seen one in, like this. They're always chipped. Chipped to hell, you know, because... Kids play with them and throw them around and blow them up and stuff. Another one that I've never seen in such good condition. Okay, this is a good makeover for me. This is really good news for me. I'll tell you why. Somebody sent me one of these, a white one, and they want it back. And I thought, oh, damn it. That's going to make for such a good makeover and I'm going to have to get it, give it back. But I'm going to do it anyway. But now, because I've got a second one, I'll actually be able to keep this one so I can do them both at the same time and have this one to keep and I'll send the other one back. Look at that little detail in the back there, the rear mounted engine. That was one of those quirky, quirky features of the Volkswagen Beetle that the engine was in the back. Oh, here's the Pontiac convertible. This is good. I did one of these the other week and I wasn't too sure as to what colour the yellow should be so it would be interesting for me to get my one out and compare it to this original colour. They've still got the windscreen missing and the steering wheel so I'll probably do this one over again. This is another one look. Somebody who had these didn't actually play with them. This is the uh, Merriweather, Merriweather Marquis fire engine. And again, it's in brilliant condition. Look at that. Hardly a mark on it. So these ones over here are keepers. And these ones over here are restorations. Right. Moving on. Look at this. Ever ready for life. Oh. I've got one of these and it's missing wheels and it's got no stickers on it and I've been thinking of doing it for so long. Haven't yet quite got round to it. It's the Earth Earth ERF truck. This one here is one of, I've seen a few in some antique shops. This one here is one of the best I've seen. This looks like another top. Oh. God, look at that. Red tail lights. Creamy pink roof, metallic green base. Matchbox really did a number on this one. This is the two-tone American Ford station wagon. 
fantastic looking thing. A yank tank, we used to call them in England. Because they're so huge compared to the British cars. So once again, keeper. I can see a, a trend occurring here. I'd like to know more about Otis. Where he got these from and how he's agreed to part with them. Here's another one, another two-tone one. That same beautiful pink, another metallic top coat here. This one's lilac. It's even got like a silver trim down the side there for added detail. Silver headlights and grill. Red rear tail lights. They don't make them like that anymore. What is it with this orange colour? Do you remember I opened a box the other day? And uh, the owner, when he was a boy, had painted them the same orange. I wonder if this was a popular colour of the time. But this is uh, an army ambulance. And that is going on the this side, where the ones that need restoring. These are going into a separate cabinet that I've yet to get. Because this is uh, unprecedented to get this many vehicles that are in such good condition. Right. The Saladin. Ah, look at that. Absolutely magnificent mint condition, except the barrel's broken off, the gun barrel. I think that's the third one of these that I've uh, got with a broken gun barrel. But don't dismay, because only yesterday I bought some 2mm aluminium tubing. And I'm going to have a crack at fixing these. So I'll have a two or three of them to make a little convoy of Saladins. I'm going as quick as I dare. I uh, hope I'm not boring you folks. At least I've plenty of bags now for my sandwiches for the next week. Pickford's removal van. Blue. They came out in green also. Somebody remarked on the replica decals that I used on one I did the other week. And because I didn't have an original, I couldn't identify the font. But uh, I can see now this is definitely a different font to the one that I put on the vehicle. So I might have to try and recreate my own uh, decals for this one and make it more accurate representation. The rear door's missing. So I know for a fact you can buy those, so that's going on this side. This is one I had as a kid, Evening News. I remember it quite well. That's a good one. I might just uh, get a new decal for this side. I think that's justified to go into the collection. This looks like it's a, a BIMS, I think they call it, the, oh, the Daimler Ambulance. I thought it was going to say, mm, shows how much I know. Daimler Ambulance number 14. Uh, yep, could have a crack at that one. Oops, it's, wow, this is, this is what I thought it was, but it's completely different green. Oh, that's why somebody's painted it. And they've done a pretty good job on it though. But yeah, it's supposed to be that colour green. They've painted it this colour green for one horrible moment. I thought I'd painted mine the wrong colour green. Right, that's going on this side. This one's going to be a restoration also. Because I can see already it's been a bit bunged around in the playground. Is this another one of those uh, Mercedes Benz? with the opening doors. That's the one I did in green the other week. Is that that same colour? No. That's a nice one. Not as clean as these two, but still pretty good. Lovely. They didn't, they don't paint the towel lights anymore. You know, after a certain time they stopped. I reckon it's because it took too much time. This is borderline, that one. I'm undecided. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That's the same car. But someone's had a bash at painting it. So definitely yes. 
and since I'm doing the one, I might as well do both. I think I'll do both of those. So these are keepers. These are going to be restored. Absolutely awesome uh, selection. Just fantastic. Can't fault it. Absolutely amazing variety. Uh, thank you very much. Otis Rustling from Alberta, Canada. Okay. We're towards the end of today's unboxing. And I've got one more to come. And this is from Stephen Tong, who lives in California in the US. And it feels like an empty box, in all honesty. Here's a letter. Dear Marty, I hope this package finds you well. I notice, like me, you may have lost all of your hair, but you are still youthful on the inside. Thank you for that. Please don't be offended by the contents of this box. I thought that it might make you look younger and give you a confidence boost whilst filming your unboxing videos. Keep doing what you do, Stephen Tong, California. All right, let's have a look, see what Stephen sent me. Ah, it looks horrible. <laughs> oh, it looks horrible. How are you supposed to work these things? How's it look? Thank you, Stephen. I greatly appreciate your donation to my channel. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the the unboxing video today and don't forget that if you fancy a shirt with I'm happy with that on it there are some available at my merch store links are on my YouTube channel and uh, just a reminder if you're looking to send me anything I do have a PO box now and the address is coming up on the screen now so thanks again and this is Marty from Marty's Matchbox Makeover saying see you next time Mm. Look like Tony Mockbell. <laughs>